King Kamehameha Day is less than a week away, and the celebrations are coming up this weekend. Here with all of the festive details is Kainoa Danes, chair of the King Kamehameha Celebration Commission. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Of course. So happy to have you because this is such a great event, and it's usually yes. days of events. Yeah. So tell us what we can expect for this upcoming King Kamehameha Day weekend. Yeah, right on. So statewide, we're going to have all kinds of celebrations, but the first one really kicks off this uh, tomorrow. We have our lady dripping ceremony tomorrow at the Ali'i Olani Hale in downtown Honolulu. Uh, so we have the ladies of Ahuhui Kahumanu, the Kahumanu Society, gathering in the morning to string 30,000 plumeria flowers from Waianae and Molokai and other parts of the islands. Um, and then everything kicks off. The Rohoa band, Hawaiian band starts at 2.30. Uh, we have uh, the lady dripping ceremony that with, the, with the Royal Hawaiian band, um, Halau Mohala Ilima, and that goes till about 4-ish. And then Saturday morning, we had 9 o'clock, we have the 103rd Annual Floral Parade. And that starts in downtown Honolulu from the Palace all the way down to Kapilani Park. Uh, one of the changes that we made this year um, is instead of the Ho'olaulea being at the park at the end of the parade, we decided we're going to move it to Aloha Tower. So that's at 4 p.m. on uh, Saturday night. The reason for the change was just some logistical things and working with Hawaii Pacific University and Aloha Tower, they were so giving and said, come yeah, have a concert. That's like, a great okay, venue. Let's, yeah, so a nice partnership with them. Um, and then in, on Kauai, at the Kauai uh, Beach Marriott, there's an event, uh, Ho'olaulea on Kauai on Saturday. Uh, and then there's the Kona Parade that's happening in, on, uh, in uh, Ali Drive with their Ho'olaulea ending at Ahulihe uh, Palace. Uh, so, and then there's a festival in Hilo as well on Saturday. Wow. On the 10th, on Monday, there's the lay draping in Hilo mm -hmm. at 5 o'clock, the statue of Kamehameha in Hilo. And then I'm actually going to whip it over there and then, and then make my way up to Kohala the next morning for their parade, a lay draping at 8, parade, and their ho'olaulea. And then the following weekend, I'm making my way to Maui uh, for their parade on the 15th and 16th uh, in Lahaina. And then Molokai, we're having a parade in Molokai for the first time in... 20 years maybe for Kamehameha Day, and that's on Father's Day on the 16th. And oh. For the most part, that kind of rounds up our week and a half long celebration. of This is the 147th year mm -hmm. we've been celebrating Kamehameha Day, and it's such a great opportunity for the community to come together to learn more about not just Kamehameha and his life and legacy, but his values and, and the and values of the people of Hawaii and everybody coming together. So it's a nice time. Wonderful. It is so fun. And again, so many great <laughs> yeah. events happening. You just listed off a oh. bunch. You're going to have a very busy week. But for those who want to, you know, learn more, sure. to make sure they go to sure. all the events, where can they find out all the details? Well, our website is hawaii.com slash kamehameha day. Very easy to remember. Uh, it has a statewide calendar there, uh, all of our sponsors there. So big mahalo to all of our sponsors for putting this together. It really is a community event. Everyone coming together. Uh, lots of hundreds of volunteers, you know, big mahalo to everybody who does, you know, take their time uh, to to celebrate and commemorate this, this the legacy of our king. Right. And speaking of volunteers and people coming mm -hmm. out, tomorrow, you said, is the lay draping, yes. right? And a lot of people love being yeah. a part of that. Can we come out this you year? You can, yes. Okay. And so about 7 o'clock, the aunties gather at the statue. We have a little tent and a little setup area for them. And people who want to come and either just watch, they can. Uh, or if people want to come and help string a 30-foot plumeria lay, they love that as well. Mm -hmm. So people are welcome to come down and participate that way and then stick around if they'd like to for the, for the ceremonies at 2.30. Okay, wonderful. And for people that aren't necessarily heading out, they don't have to miss out because right. I hear that yep. the parade is going to be televised. Yeah, we'll be live on Olelo. Perfect. So Olelo TV, big mahalo to them, uh, but they come down, you know, community event, community television. Uh, so we have some folks with the backdrop of Iolani Palace announcing... Um, it'll be great. Yeah, it'll be a great way to see it and document it and everyone can show, uh, share across the world. Right. Okay. Well, it's again, so much going on. It's going to be a lot of fun and a great celebration. You have a busy next couple oh, days boy. ahead of you. Don't we? Yes. Good luck with everything. And again, this all kicks off tomorrow with the lay draping. So make sure you head on out and check out their website for all the details across the state what we're expecting for the events but the lay draping tomorrow 2 to 4 p.m the ho'olaulea going to be saturday 4 to 10 and the floral parade on saturday at 9 a.m head on out make sure you see it in person but if you can't again tune in you can catch it on tv all right thank you so much thank for you. joining us this morning and again good luck oh thank you so much. you're gonna be busy <laughs>